Hey everybody, it's Callum, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of Symphonia. In the last episode, we finished things up in the Martel Temple and made it back to Isalia. Only to be greeted with the news that we are not accompanying Colette on her journey of world regeneration. We have no skit, let's read it. Man, that Kratos really pisses me off. Are you still mad about what he said, um, that you just get in the way? I mean, I know he's strong and all. I guess I feel bad too if someone put me down to my only redeeming quality. Oh, no. Genus, you little git. And yes, there is mild swearing in this game. Just a brief warner. Warner? Warning. Anyway, we head down this way because Genus asked to go to his house, which is just here. There, we've come to your house. I don't know what you need, but make it quick. It won't take that long. Come on in. He has a dog. That's all I'm interested in. A dog! <laughs> I was interested in you. Uh, let's see, there should be some ingredients or sandwiches in here. When you said you wanted to get ready, you meant packing ingredients? Why are you bothering with that? You shouldn't make fun of cooking, Lloyd. Uh, we can't use healing arts, so we need so we need to use food to keep up our strength. Sorry, I got really um, got a bit lost there. I kind of zoned out. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Apple gels aren't cheap after all. Exactly, cooking is important. We don't need to hear an explanation about cooking. Uh, basically, cooking certain things. Um, well, cooking different meals heals you, which, you know, is kind of, um, obvious. Certain foods, I believe, raise TP as well. But the main gimmick about food is that, um, it affects a value that we'll be talking about a little bit later. So just keep that in mind. Anyway. We can now leave, and he says he wants to go to my house. We leave the village to go to my house. Lloyd, do something about this thing. What? Your pet. This creature. No ish. Uh, hey, how many times have I told you not to enter the village? Hey, you always have him bring you to the village. Don't talk to him that way. Oh, that reminds me, Lloyd. The mayor wanted to, me to ask you a question. From the mayor? What is it? It's about the northwest forest that you go through. You know there's a human ranch on the way through, right? You haven't been playing near the ranch, have you? O of course not! Right, Genus? Y yeah Of course not. Really? If so, that's fine. But that weird animal... How many times do I have to tell you that Noish is a dog? Uh, sorry, he just doesn't look like a dog. Anyway, make sure he doesn't go near the ranch either. We can go now, right Lloyd? Let's go. Be careful, you two. We will. See you tomorrow. Time to go, Noish. By the way, Noish, why are you traveling? Why are you trying to get into the village? He was probably looking for you. You think so? Uh, poor naive Lloyd. Anyway, we're now on the other side of the village. Uh, there's two ways we can go. We can go through to that forest, which is where we're supposed to go. And then there's this way, which is the rest of the world, which we can't actually go to, because I think we'll be stopped. So yeah. Let's just go through the forest. Ah, oh, that's right, Noish doesn't like this place. You'll never go near places like this that have lots of monsters. Even though you hardly ever see monsters bigger than him. <sighs> he ran off again. Fine, do whatever you want, Noish. I keep thinking, if he's going to run away, he should at least take us with him. And here we're in a new area, the Asalia Forest, and let's get into a battle right now. Don't know why I padded that out, and we have no new encounters. Anyway, so let's just keep going. There are a few hidden items along the way, which I will be getting into... Yay, new encounter, Miniclods! little mushrooms basically they don't even have a weakness to fire which is strange 
And we, we found an, a magic lens, which is actually what I was going to talk about. You can use a magic lens on any enemy, and you will forever keep that data for the next time you fight it, which is really helpful. Found an apple gel, and let's fight you. There was a skit there. All right, let's go. Genus' friend. Let's see this. So who's this friend that you're going to see? Is it one of the ones you've been giving your school lunch to? What? Y you knew about that? I always see you hiding food in your school bag. Yeah, she never has anything to eat, so I feel really bad. That's really cool, Genus. It's really nice that you share a little, the, what little food we have. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Don't be so modest. I'm sure the dog is really thankful. Oh, he's just assuming it's a dog. No, it's a human. Oh, really? This whole time I thought you were... Yeah, keeping a pet dog in secret from the professor. Well. Anyway. Uh, don't want to fight you. I want to get the chest before I fight you. It's currently sniffing my butt. Let's fight it. Oh, Genus learned a new spell. He learned Windblade, which is... Just, okay, it's just another elemental move. There's nothing really much to say about it. There we go. Let's just keep going up the hill. Uh, I'm gonna quickly do something. I'm gonna switch um, our cook to Genus because he is the better cook, which means your food's gonna come out with, I believe, better benefits. Or not better benefits, but it, it's gonna heal you more than what it would if, say, And I just realized I spoiled a character who joins. I'm just gonna censor that when I get to it. Here's my stop. At the Design Human Ranch? Doesn't going there violate the Non-Aggression gre Aggression Treaty? Man, I really butchered that. The Designs already attacked the temple. Hmm, well, yeah, I guess that's true. I know I'm not supposed to, but there's someone I just have to tell about the Oracle. Alright. But I'm worried about you going alone, so I'm going with you. That would be a good guy. Uh, we don't need to save at the moment. And here's the human ranch we've heard so much about. Hey! Stop slacking off, swine! Yeah. So, of course we can't enter through the main doors, but there is a slight path this way. Marble! Genus! Is that your friend? Yeah. I'm Lloyd. I am pleased to meet you. Marble, did you see it? There was an oracle. Yes, I did. I saw the Tower of Salvation. Now the Chosen's journey of regeneration can finally begin. I hope it is successful this time. The last Chosen failed, right? Yes, I heard the Chosen was killed by Desions during the journey. I wonder if Colette will be all right. Let us pray to Martel. May she guide the Chosen on a safe journey. Huh? Hey, uh, Grams. Her name's Marble. Marble, isn't that an X-Sphere? Oh, is that what this is called? They placed it on me shortly after I came here. Yeah, that's definitely an X-Sphere, but there's no key crest on it. An X-Sphere without a key crest is dangerous. What's a key crest? And how is it dangerous? Attaching an X-Sphere directly to your skin supposedly makes you sick. But ironically, it's useless unless you attach it directly onto the skin. So, in order to prevent it from making you sick, you 
carve a spell into a special ore and use that as a mount for the X-Sphere. That's the key crest. You're very knowledgeable. But it looks like Marble's X-Sphere doesn't have a mount at all. Nope, doesn't look like it. If the charm was the only thing needed, I could carve one myself, but... There's nothing I can do without the inhibitor ore that acts as the mount. There has to be something you can do, Lloyd. It's not as easy as you think. Key crests are dwarven technology. Your dad's a dwarf. Please ask him for help, Lloyd. Here's another choice we have. It's just disrespectful to say but. Let's just say okay. Fine, fine. I'll ask him. All right. That's why I like you, Lloyd. Please don't trouble yourself. Hey, old hag! What the hell you doing over there? Oh no, the designs. Run away, you two. Hurry. But who knows what they may do to her? I know that, but what can we do? If the designs find out we're here, just think about what they'll do to Marvel and the people of the village. That's right. You must go. I'm sorry, Grams. What are you doing over here? Who said you could slack off? Get back to work! I'm sorry. What's with that look, huh? Hmm. Looks like someone's got an attitude problem. No, of course not. I... Shut up! You two, take her to the back! We're gonna give her a little lesson on respect. Yeah. This doesn't look good. They're taking her to the back. But what can we do? There's got to be something we can do. Let's find higher ground where we can see what's going on in there. Well, Genus's friend was just a person at the design it human around. Like we can go up from here. Who are you talking to, Lloyd? And we just press the jump button when it signals us to. The only instance of jumping in this game. There's an item this way. I believe it's a life bottle. Orange gel. Never mind. Anyway, jump up this way. And now we have the higher ground that Lloyd wanted. She's. We've got to save her. But how? You attack the designs from here with magic. What? Aren't we gonna get in trouble? We don't have a choice. Afterwards, hide among the bushes and make your way back to the village. I'll act as the decoy. But that'll put you in danger. Don't worry. I'll head down the cliff so they don't see my face. Then I'll run in the opposite direction from the village. Okay. You should replenish your energy before we do this. I've got some leftover cookies from the ones I gave to Colette. Here, have some. What the? There he is! Stop him! Open the main gate! Are you all right, Marble? Quickly, come this way! Genus, Lloyd, thank you. And now they've seen our face. But it's fine, because we can take him on. Oh crap, I jumped back just as he was actually attacking, which means the block didn't work. Uh, stop it. Okay. Uh, for a brief second we were confused there, but uh, he seemed to knock the confusion out of us, which is pretty good. Oh, we've reached over limit. Over limit's good. We won't flinch when we get hit, so we can keep wailing on something and if we get hit we just take damage. I think it's less damage but you don't flinch and it's a kind of a rare occurrence. They 
I saw your face. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Don't worry about it. But... I took out the ones that saw my face, and the rest of them are still back up on the cliff. As long as we hurry up and get out of here, they'll never know. Oh, okay. Just do my homework for me, okay? Okay. All right, then. I'm gonna head on home. You should head back to the village. Lloyd, thanks for helping Marble. Hey, that's what friends are for, right? And we have to head up the cliff in the direction of the human ranch. Analyze the data from the gate surveillance system. God, I also love you for some reason. You're just such a cool character and I can never explain why. But let me see you later. You're great. Yes, sir! How did a mere human make that kind of jump? We received Genus's equipment. That's one thing I've never understood. We get Genus's um, equipment, like his cloak, his beret, and I believe his what? We don't get his weapons? Eh? Okay, so we just get his beret and cloak, which is weird. But yeah. So that was the deal with the human ranch. Now we go this way. Uh, sorry if there was a... Uh, well, Sorry that there was a weird, like, disconjointed feeling a little bit earlier on, if any of you noticed it. Just around when Genus tripped. Uh, I had to go help my mother, who had just fallen, so, yeah. Anyway, let's get into some fights and see if we have anything new. And there was nothing new. But one thing that is new is that we're fighting on our own, and that's not the easiest of things. I believe going here, yeah, we have an item. 500 gold. Uh, I believe that's also, I think that's the way to progress. So I'm going to go around here because I believe there are four items you can find around here. Uh, we still have the Sorcerer's Ring, by the way, which I actually haven't demonstrated what else it can do other than, yeah, if we aim it right, come on. I just almost died to a freaking miniclod. I'm gonna heal. Right. Uh, get out of the menu. There we go. Yeah, there's an item up here. Leather glove. Uh, I actually think that's useful for Lloyd. Yes, it boosts defense. Cool. Uh, not that way. This way. Oh. <laughs> They both lead to the same place, I am an idiot. Okay. So let's see if we can show off- Yes, there we go, we've stunned an enemy. Sorcerer's Ring can stun an enemy for a couple of seconds. That worm is having the time of its life. Let me tell ya. Examine this bag. Orange gel, and I was right, there were four items to be had. I got you- Oh no, the worm's free! Say, Noish, is it just me or have you been restless ever since we left the sanctuary? What's the matter? You weirdo. Huh? What? I have no, de no idea what you're trying to say. It's too bad you can't talk. This is something I never understand about people in general. I mean, I do it myself, so I can really say much. But we talk to animals like they're humans, and it's it's funny. Uh, are you any new encounter? Long story short, there was nothing new there. Anyway, let's head home. I'm home, Mom. If you didn't get the point of it, cutting over to this gravestone when he said I'm home, he talked to it and he says the same thing. Lloyd has no mother. Let's just head home. Welcome back. 
Hi, Dad. Say, is there any chance you could make me a key crest? Why do you need a key crest all of a sudden? I met someone today who has an X Sphere without a key crest. An X Sphere without a key crest is bad for you, right? Or wait, don't tell me that it's too late. Once you've attached an X Sphere without a key crest to your body. Nah, not at all. But even removing an X Sphere that lacks a key crest is dangerous. So, the only thing to do is make an accessory out of inhibitor ore and carve the charm into that, making it into the key crest instead. Huh. And then it'll be okay, huh? Then could you make me a bracelet as soon as possible? Just a minute. The X Sphere with no key crest that you're talking about. Who has it? Huh? Uh, uh, a traveler? Uh, a traveling mercenary? Baloney. X Spheres are basically only used by Desians. If he took one from a Desian, it should already have a key crest on it. Uh, well. Dwarven vow number 11. Lying is the first step to the path of thievery. Yeah, this is where all the dwarven vows come from. And everyone uses uh, uses them to tease Lloyd. It's great. Tell me the truth. Why do you need a key crest? I met someone at the ranch today who had an X sphere equipped without a key crest. You went to the ranch? I, I I'm sorry. A bunch of stuff happened and You didn't let the design see your X sphere, did you? No. Don't worry, I made sure. But why is it so important to hide this thing? The mercenary that came to the village today wore his right out in the open. Your X Sphere is special. Special? Is it different from the ones the designs have equipped? That X Sphere is your mother's keepsake. The designs killed your mother in order to take it from her. They did? I told you about how I found you at the cliff near the ranch, right? Their mother was still conscious at that time, so she explained everything. There's no doubt about it. Why didn't you ever tell me? If I had, you'd have run out and tried to take revenge on the Desions. The Tower of Salvation appeared today. Just leave the rest to collect. That'll take care of the Desions, too. But still... Don't get involved with the Desions. Your mother protected you and that X-Sphere with her life. Don't go throwing either away. So will you make me the key crest? What? Have you been listening at all? Yeah, I heard you. But you can't expect me not to do anything now that I know. You don't have to hit me! Oh. Well, let me guess. You heard that just now? I'm sorry. Because of me, you... It's okay. It's not your fault. Lloyd, you should go speak to Colette. We'll wait here. Okay. Lloyd, let's go up to the terrace. Just a minute. Okay, I'll be waiting on the bench. I wanted to say just a minute, just because I wanted to talk to everyone else. Kratos is over here by Lloyd's mother's grave. Whose gravestone is this? Ah, you heard right. It's my mom's. Anna, is your father still alive? I don't know, but Dirk is my dad. Yes, that was that was a careless thing to ask. I'm sorry. Uh, who else have we got? We got Rain over here blocking the way. You're going to leave tomorrow too? Why? Are you going to miss me? Of course! <laughs> Thank you. By the way, did you finish Colette's present? It's almost done. Oh, well I'm sure it'll be fine. You're at least good at craft work. Do you both have to talk like that? Ah, <laughs> oh, these two. The designs are half-elves, right? So does that mean the half-elves are responsible for your mother's death? Well, not all half-elves are designs, right? I don't care if they're half-elves or not. Y yeah. Anyway. We only have one person left to talk to. Are you done? Yeah. I'm sorry for not finishing your birthday present in time. It's okay. Don't worry about that. But this sort of thing is special because you... Well then, we ah, just wish me crap. a happy birthday. I just accidentally skipped that. Uh... Of course. Happy birthday. 
<laughs> Thanks. I'm glad I was able to live to this day. What are you talking about? You're going to keep on living and regenerate the world. Yeah. So, about tomorrow. I can't come along with you, can I? Well, it's just that the designs will be after us, and it's gonna be a dangerous journey. Designs. Up till now, I always thought my mom died in an accident. But she was murdered by designs. Now that I know the truth, there's no way that I could keep living in a village that has a treaty with them. Yeah. We're leaving tomorrow at noon. So would you come to the village around then? Okay. You got it. Now I'll be able to see you become an angel with my own eyes. <laughs> yeah. So Lord Remiel really is my father. I'm the child of an angel. Does it matter? Regardless of who your real father is, you're still you. Nothing's changed. You just have two fathers. Just think of yourself as being lucky for having more than most people do. I suppose you're right. World regeneration, huh? It's kind of exciting. <sighs> yeah. Releasing the seals, becoming an angel. Then finally... Finally? Um, nothing. Anyway, if we go to the Seal of Fire, I'll get to see my father again. I'm going to do my best. Yeah, me too. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm coming. See you later, Lloyd. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, time to make that present. It's finished. Okay, I better have a talk with Dad. I'm I'm terrible at walking slow. I'm sorry. Dad, about yesterday, I just here. That's the key crest you wanted. You can use it however you like. Just remember, I did try to stop you. Dad, thanks. Dwarven bow number two. Never abandon someone in need. I'm just going along with the teachings. Dad, I'm going on a journey. I'm going to help Colette regenerate the world so that I can avenge my mom. Yeah, I figured you were going to say that. Take this with you. I've put together some things you'll need for your trip. So you're forgiving me? Yeah, but remember, this is your home. You're still my son, regardless of blood. Come back here anytime you're tired. I will. Wish me luck. Lloyd, don't ever forget Dwarven Vow number seven. Goodness and love will always win, right? Man, that's such a cheesy line for anyone to be saying these days. Don't worry, I won't forget it. Let's go, Noish. It's time to regenerate the world. Huh? What are you doing here? Lloyd, you're still here? Genus! Good timing. I got my dad to make Marvel's key crest. That's great and all. What about seeing Coletta? Oh, yeah, about that. I've decided to join her. Are you stupid or something? Colette and the others left a long time ago. What? I came looking for you because you never showed up. You've got to be kidding me. Lloyd, go to the village. Now. Yeah, come on, come on. Lloyd, Phydra was looking for you. Phydra? Okay. So. Oh, we have a skit. Okay. Say, Lloyd, there's something I've been wondering about for a while. Hmm? What? 
How do you and Dirk sustain your livelihood? Livelihood? You know, how he makes money and stuff. Every so often, Dad gets requests to make things. Craft things. Apparently, it's good money. Wow, I didn't know Dirk was famous. He says he's well known for what he does. That's a little bit nice, uh... I, I am at a loss for words again. Wow, that's happening a lot lately. I should really think about it. Wow, another skit. Oh my god. Colette says she's leaving at noon, so why did she... She was acting overly cheerful before she left, telling everyone I'll be fine and I'll do my best. I bet she's hiding something. She always acts like that when she's worried or hiding something. Maybe so. I bet Phydra probably knows something. And if you'd stop bombarding us with skips, we could... Skips? Skits? We'll be able to get to see Phydra. <laughs> oh. Hello, Lloyd. Phydra, is it true that Collateral already left? Indeed. Did she tell me the wrong time? Galette asked me to give you this letter. Dear Lloyd, by the time you read this, I will have already left on my journey. I'm sorry for lying to you. The world regeneration journey is full of peril. Many Chosens have failed. I care about you too deeply to let you get involved. I'm gonna do my best to stop the monsters and the designs. So I want you to live a happy and peaceful life in the regenerated world. Thank you so much for your friendship and kindness all these years. I'm really lucky to have met you. Farewell, Colette. What is this? This almost sounds like a will. Yes, you could call it that. What do you mean? Lloyd, Genus, there is something we hid from you and everyone in the village. Colette... No. The Chosen is already... What was that? Let's go and check it out. Crap. The designs from the Asalia Ranch. They're taking over the village. Kill them. Kill all the miserable worms. You'll pay for this. Let's get started. Woo! This is the best way to start off a game. Bear in mind, this is the third episode. We are on the third episode of the series, and we're already at the genocide of a village. Like, holy crap, I believe we can actually, can we check this house? I know there's some, no, okay, we can't check the house. Um, if we do go the other way, I believe we can do more battles for uh, more XP. Wow, that was, a <sighs> the movement in this game is always so awkward. Yeah, here we go. Don't let up. And they're pretty much the same as the other ones, except these two are just carrying whips. They don't have um, a crossbow like the other one did in that other battle. Come on. I uh, Sonic thrust it the wrong way. Uh, one thing I completely forgot to mention is that uh, new uh, new techs, or arts actually, I think they're called. Uh, thank you, you saved me. I couldn't protect this place by myself. Is everyone inside the school? No, there should still be some people left in the plaza. Let's go save them. Wait, uh, this is my thanks for taking- Ooh! Okay. 
Anyway, science attack, I will get to finish what I'm saying. Damn design bastards. Why do they have to do such horrible things? Right now, we've got to get everyone to safety and then drive those guys away. Okay. Tech. They are called techs. We can learn new ones. Uh, but the way to learn new ones is by using old ones. So we can see we've used Sonic Thrust 5, uh, 35 times, I believe, if we use it. I think it's 50 times we get a new move. I'm completely uh, unsure about that, but yeah. And techs do, uh, if you can see on here, the T and the S. We go technical and... I don't know what the S means, but that's basically dependent. Well, that depends on... No. That dictates what moves you will learn. Our house. Damn, those designs. This is horrible. What am I going to tell Rain when she gets back? And this village looked like it might have finally been a place we could call home. Huh? What did you say? N nothing. Let's hurry up and get rid of the designs. Lloyd Irving, come forth! You've come to attack the village again? I've had enough of this! What are you talking about? He speaks nonsense. Ignore him. Listen up, inferior beings. I am Forcistus, one of the five Desion Grand Cardinals. I am a superior half-elf who rules over the farm where we cultivate these pathetic humans. Half-elf? Lloyd! You, a human, have been found guilty for the crime of violating the Non-Aggression Treaty. Therefore, I bring judgment upon you and this village. You violated the treaty too. You tried to murder the Chosen. Us? Kill the Chosen? <laughs> I see now. They must be after the Chosen. They? Are you saying you aren't the ones that attacked Colette? I have no need to explain myself to the likes of you. The only thing that matters is that you, Lloyd Irving, have been in contact with host body F-192 and attacked our guards. What have you done? How many times have we told you to stay away from the ranch? I'm sorry. We've prepared an appropriate opponent for your crime. What is that thing? Now, receive your punishment. Damn! Boy, I'll help too! Let's get this over with. This is Expel You Up. Fireball. HP 5000, TP 38, weaknesses and resistance none, XP yield is 280, and guild yield is 320. They drop a uh, panacea bottle when defeated. I just realized I'm so low on health. Uh, not text, uh, items, even apple gel. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. Use another apple gel. But you're probably wondering, why is this an appropriate opponent for the crime that we apparently committed? But we did commit. And that information will be clear to us very soon. No way! Uh, insane Cell, uh, run away from that, run away from that. I'm gonna heal. Uh, insane... Insane Cell, I believe, is just, um, its version of Overlimit. And it then boosts the attack of its moves, like Impact Hammer. Uh, crap, didn't block in time. Right. It's good to play defensive with uh, bosses like this. Because we do fight bosses. A boss like this later. I'm gonna heal Genus. 
because even though Expelua has no weaknesses, it's better if we actually have Genus alive for this as well. Because more attack powers, powers better. <laughs> Just as I expected. Lord Persistence, just as you thought, that boy has an X-Spear! It must be the one from the Angelus Project that we've been searching for. Give it to me! No! This is a memento of my mom's, who you designs murdered! What are you talking about? Your mother was... Oh, run away! Genus Lloyd! What, what was that voice? It sounded like marble. It can't be. Oh, oh, oh. Get away! Hurry! Genus, you were like a grandson to me. Thank you. You're here. This village will never be at peace. Do you understand? Wait a minute. You're going to exile him? Yes. That's not fair! Lloyd didn't do anything wrong! He just saved Marble! Any involvement with the ranch has forbidden. There are no exceptions. So it's okay to let people die at the human ranch as long as the village is safe? The people at the ranch are just going to rot there anyway. Yes. Had you not done something so stupid, they'd have been the only ones that died. Yeah. You humans are all the same. That's enough, Genus. This was my fault. I'll leave. Mayor, surely you don't have to be so strict on a child. What are you saying? Do you realize how many people died here because of him? It's not Lloyd's fault! I'm the one that took him to the ranch, so it's my fault! But it's Lloyd the Desires are after. And besides, Lloyd isn't from this village to begin with. He's an outsider, raised by a dwarf. Then I'm leaving too. I'm just as guilty as he is. Genus. Fight. By the rights vested in me as mayor, I hereby announce the banishment of Lloyd and Genus from the village of Isalia. Get out! I'm sorry for causing you trouble. If you feel that way, please catch up to the Chosen and protect her. If in doing so, the world is saved, surely everyone will change their minds about you. I'm sure Colette would want that as well. Yes. I will atone for what I've done. I swear to protect Colette for the sake of those who have died because of me. I'll follow you, Lloyd. It's my fault that you were banished. So I promise to stick by you always. Say, Genus, why don't you use that X-Sphere? That's Marble's memento. Okay. I'll explain to you on how to use the Keycrest later. After all, looks like it's going to be a long journey. Yeah. 
so there we go. Genus and Lloyd have both been ex exiled from the village. Let's go, Noish. Don't throw your lives away. May the goddess Mortel protect you. We got a new title. And happy music all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, but we got a title which uh, increases HP and uh, defense. It lowered strength and accuracy, though. So I'm going to keep combo newbie because the overall has the better buffs. And we're going to venture forth in the next episode. See you guys then. Goodbye.